Ladies and gentlemen, we thought it was time to introduce a new feature, a favorite of mine. This is something brand new for Envision Community 5, something to help make your pages thrive. Before we begin, let's go back to version 4, something a little more familiar to you all. When editing a page, the block manager would open. You'd drag some blocks and you'd be hoping to make a page that looked polished and clean, but it wasn't always the best you'd seen. You'd typically drag a block to its spot, but from a creative standpoint, you were missing a lot. Each widget would occupy the entire row, and in terms of design, that's as far as you could go. So we thought it was time to take a new stance, to make the widget system much more advanced. So let's bring version 5 to the stage, to help us build a more customised page. The block manager here will help you find the perfect widget that you have in mind. Let's scroll down the list for a moment or two to find a widget. This one will do. A new toolbar appears at the bottom of the screen. It's a brand new feature, one you've not seen. It lets you change your widget's design and that alone saves a bunch of time. You can change the design with a click or two. Some look familiar, others are brand new. The grid design here arranges content like so, column by column and row by row. Or here is a larger, more spacious list for featuring content it's hard to resist. If you'd rather use images to capture attention, then the wallpaper design is one I should mention. With images and text stacked neatly like this, the wallpaper design is hard to miss. For something more traditional, you could go with rows, a table-like design that everyone knows. Or this one is minimal. It's a design that's slim. It's like a table design that went to the gym. Minimal grid, it's compact and clean, and a perfect way to fit lots on the screen. Now, if those designs aren't enough, then we might as well click this option for a carousel. The carousel works with almost every design and displays your content in a scrollable line. You can change the size from big to small or place a gap between them all. So much variety in so little time, it's that easy to change a widget design. With all of that said, we're not quite done because that was only feature one. So let's move on to feature two and introduce something else brand new. Widgets have traditionally occupied a row, stacked vertically with nowhere else to go. But in version five, we've changed this. How? Well, if you drag widgets to the same space now, they become a group that you can align. Just browse a list and then click to assign. You can change the width and adjust the gap and configure how the boxes wrap. Put them in the center, place them in a grid, or use a bricks option like I just did. And you've probably noticed this option as well, which puts your widgets in a carousel. Desktop or mobile, no matter the device, the alignments and designs work really nice. So this is the end of a quick sneak peek at the new features we've announced this week. We're very excited and hope everyone agrees that designing pages is now an absolute breeze. The new page builder tools are due to arrive in the very near future with Envision Community 5.